And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. We got trial number two. We came so close with that first trial uh, to the seven wins, but didn't quite get there. And so we are going to be trying trial number two. And uh, for this expedition, our next draft, let's see if we can get that seven win draft. Oh, boy. Well, these are these are some good ones. So I think we have two that are two that are better than the third. Um, I think the the Callista Black Spear Vengeance is probably the weakest of the three because you have Draven and you have two good one drops to go along with Draven. Draven's biggest fan that they you know can pull Draven to the top and then Legion Rear Guard. Also a really good one drop, so we could get aggressive Noxus. Like I like where that is. I like where that's at. That's a good one. Um, and then, like, what we just did, you know, we just tried Trindamir, and we get Trindamir, but with two good one-drops, Omen Hawk and Yeti Yearling. That's also um, pretty pretty enticing to go as well. I really like Trindamir in um, in Expedition mode, because Trindamir is basically just, like, an, an auto-win. Um, so, yeah, this is... This is kind of a tough pick. What do y'all think? Do we... Do we go Trindamir? Like, I think Trindamir is really, really powerful, really good. But we did just play a Trindamir deck. So does that mean that we should just go and draft Draven this time? Or do we go back at it and try Trindamir again? Um, I think that Trindamir is probably better, honestly. But, but we did just play Trindamir. So I could see you wanted to go Draven. Uh, let's so you know I'm checking the votes. Um, go Trindamir, go for the wins. Yeah, and you know we may not have like you know after Trindamir we may not have the the um, same kind of deck afterwards. But all right, let's let's do it. We'll go Trindamir. We'll go for the wins. Trindamir does have a couple more votes, or, or does have just one more vote, I suppose. All right, going for the wins. I don't think that we want Elise. I don't think, again, just like last time, I don't think we really want to pair. Like, this is a, a deck. You know, Trindamir decks, we're trying to um, just smash through in the late game and, you know, get to the late game and, and play really big heavy hitters in the late game. That's what we're trying to do. And Elise is not really like that. Vladimir kind of is like that. So we could have, like, Vladimir with Battering Ram. Battering Ram's kind of underrated, honestly. You know, so this, it's an 0-12, you play it, you attack right away. This grant plus 4 plus 0 is permanent. So you, it's a 6 mana 4-12 with Overwhelm that if it, if it, you know, they don't kill it, which is hard to kill because it has 12 toughness, next turn you're attacking with it. Now it's an 8, you know, 12 or whatever, how much toughness it has left, you know, and so on. Then Blood for Blood, deal 1 to an allied follower. If it survives, create a copy of it in hand. I don't really like that card very much. Um, but I, I like Vladimir. I like Blat Battering Ram. Blood for Blood, eh, not very good. All right, but then we could go, or we could go Karma, and Karma is awesome. Karma is really, really good. Karma is better than Vladimir. We get Health Potion, which, eh, I'm not really that into, but it's better than Blood for Blood, so it's better there. And, and we get Life Blade, which is, eh, I think the Battering Ram's better than Life Blade, but Karma's better than Vladimir, Health Potion better than Blood for Blood. Um, so it looks like y'all are voting for the middle one. Y'all are voting for Vladimir over Karma. It's definitely something that's a little different. Hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards the karma. Because this blood for blood is just really bad. And so, like, you're looking at Vladimir, a battering ram, and a dead card versus three playable cards. I think I'm thinking karma. 
The synergy between Karma and Trindamir is pretty good. Pretty good, because, uh, you know, you get the random spell each each round. Fel Freljord has good spells to be getting, you know, getting, like, the Frostbite spells um, are, you know, good random spells to get. So Kar Karma works pretty well with Freljord. We're going to go that route. Ooh. This is tough. So we have Omenhawk, which I love, and Entreat, which is pretty good. Karma and Trindamir are uh, both really, really valuable. So Entreat's not not too bad, but you only you only want like maximum one Entreat. We have a Shadow Assassin, which is good. Snapper, not so good. Solitary Monk is good, and Green Glade Elder is good. Also, I like this last route because, especially if we kind of have a deck like we had the last round, and we're not really playing very many ones or twos, if we kind of go for a similar type deck, not really playing one and two mana creatures, Solitary Monk can just be a three mana four three flyer which is really powerful and you know green glade elder if it's like one of your first cards that you're playing pumping up everything else in your hand it's not bad either um but yeah i guess shadow assassin usually is just good because it just trades with stuff draws a card and i always like omen honk um Synergy, uh, I think syner Synergy is with a Y at the end, not an IE. Yeah. So just replace the IE with a, with a Y. All right, looks like y'all are voting for uh, this column over here. And I'm all for it. I'm all for some Omen Hawks. All right, we have Conspirator, which, which is perfect with Omen Hawk. And Steel Tempest, which is a pretty good trick. So I like that route. We got Black Spear, Tortured Prodigy. No. Stalking Wolf and Shatter. Not bad either. I like, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with the Conspirator, Omen Hawk package, and Steel Tempest. I think that's a pretty, pretty easy one. Okay, so we can get a Yeti. And an Averrosen Trapper. When I'm summoned, create an Enraged Yeti in the top three cards of your deck. That card's pretty decent, honestly. So that's that's pretty decent. Um, I, I, again, like Conspirator. You know, we can keep on getting more Conspirators and, and you know, basically build, um, you know, like an Elusive deck. Like the Constructed Elusive deck with Omen Hawks and Conspirators. But we have to take a Skilled Snapper, which is kind of meh. Um, and then Green, Green Glade Lookout and Kindly Tavern Keeper. Yeah. You know, that was a bad, like, Green Glade Lookout, you know, reducing Trindamir's cost by one is pretty nice. That's not bad either. Ancient Yeti is strong, and Trapper is kind of strong, too. I'm kind of thinking this, this first column. Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all are split between these two. I, I could see, I could see really either of these. Because, yeah, Conspirator is probably the best card that we want. But then these two cards are both better than Snapper. I don't think it's the, the third one. It's, I think it's between these two. And the votes are pretty tied. Um, I'm really not sure which way to go. Maybe I'll just go Conspirator. Because the more Conspirators we get... The more Omen Hawks are better, and so on. I, I think I'll just go that route and try to get more Omen Hawks and Conspirators and stuff like that. All right, don't want this one. Twin Disciplines is a really good card. Jeweled Protector is a really good card. I like that. I don't like Callus the Aeons at all. We're just going to take this Jewel Protector Twin Discipline. Um, don't want the Poro and Yeti Yearling. Steel Tempest Deny is not bad. Want some tricks. The Sentry and Scaled Snapper. I like Sentry a lot. I like Sentry a lot, lot. But I really don't... I don't like Scaled Snapper that much. We got. We already got a, one Scaled Snapper. Maybe it's better just to take Deny. How good is Deny in draft? Actually, Deny is probably not that great in draft.
All right, I guess I'll take this last column. Yeah, I'm gonna take the last column, even though I don't love it. Okay, pretty easy pick here. Um, I'm going with this last column. Pretty easy pick. We have the another Omen Hawk, which, you know, like we're kind of we're kind of building an Omen Hawk deck, and then Babbling Bjerg is is good. You know, four mana three three draw card, and you're drawing a unit with five plus power. So right now that is Trindamir. So it's, uh, you know, four mana draw Trindamir. You know, tutor up Trindamir. We're gonna be trying to find other things with five plus power, though we don't want it just to be Trindamir. Tarkaz the Tribalist is pretty cool. But you had to take Lonely Poro, which is not any good. We got Conspirator, which is awesome, and Zephyr Sage. Zephyr Sage is good also. Six mana, four, four, you know, draw a card, you know, like, you know, getting card advantage. And, you know, we can, you know, keep hammering home the try to consistently have Omen Hawk into Conspirator. Turn one, turn two. Or we have Awakener, which is good, and Alpha Wild Claw, which is very good also. I like I like both of these. I want some wild claws. Like I want some more top end, but I also want another conspirator. So it kind of makes it tough. Um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take the conspirator, and we get a Zephyr Sage. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this one. I think we can probably find some some wild claws somewhere else. I didn't get a trapper before. All right, so Omen Hawk Trapper. <laughs> the Lonely Poro, though. How can you say no? All right, Omen Hawk Trapper. Trapper's not a bad card to pick up either with uh, Conspirator. Ooh. All right, we're not doing the third column. I'm not taking Catalyst of Aeons. It's the first two. I like Battle Fury, and I like Babbling Bjerg, but I, I do need to get some more. If we take Babbling Bjerg, you know, we need some more big creatures. This is enticing, going Blade Twirler, Will of Ionia, because I do I do have a lot of recall stuff with the Conspirators. And then Will of Ionia is a, a good bounce spell. It's good to have Will of Ionia for sure, because you know, like people pump up their their creatures and everything, you bounce it back to their hand. Will of Iona is a good one to have, but Battle Fury can end games, and Bjerg is strong. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this this column. We're gonna, let's go power. Yeah, y'all are all voting for this column too. Ooh, this is a tough one. All right, we're not doing the first column. We got one drops. We need we need some more power. So it's between these two. So we have, I like I said, I really like Will of Ionia, and I want a Will of Ionia, so I can't keep passing on him because I do want that. And Usari is good. Usari, um, you know, very good. It's elusive. It has Challenger. Very good. This is a really good column. But with that being said, we do need more five drops, um, you know, because we got these babbling Bjergs. We, we got to get some more, or not five drops, but five power creatures. We do need more five power creatures, and Hearthguard is one of my favorites. And then you also get a Stalking Wolf, which is a good card, too. So I think we're going to just go with the Hearth card, because I do want five power creatures. Oh, this is rough. All right, well, we're not taking Avalanche. We're not an Avalanche deck. We're not We're not going there. I really want Omen Hawk, and I really want Will of Ionia. And I don't want Poro or Ghost. Oh, this is tough. Well, the Poro is the worst card. I think I think we just have to take the Will of Ionia. Like we have so many units. I think we need some more tricks and stuff. So I, I think we're just gonna take Will of Ionia, and then I guess we get Ghost, where we can, you know, I don't know, give some big creature that we've made big from other stuff. We can give it uh, elusive, and help with our elusives, like the conspirators and stuff. Maybe I'll make a snapper, like a five-two instead, and give it elusive. I think we need the Will of Ionia. Ugh. I guess it's Omen Hawk Bjerg. Twin Disciplines isn't bad. 
I don't want Catalyst of Aeon, so it's just not even the, the last one. Twin Disciplines is pretty good. And I guess if we're playing a bunch of Omen Hawks and everything, you know, we can make a big Navori Highwayman. The thing about Bjerg, though, you know, so again, draw a unit with 5 plus power. Whenever, we, whenever we're using all these Omen Hawks and we pump up the creatures in our deck, they will turn into 5 power things. So we'll have more things to draw with Bjerg. But I, I do wish we had some more spells. Uh, we'll take this, though. We're going to try to trade for spells. <laughs> well, all these are creatures. Uh, I think the best one, the best trade is probably the last trade. Getting Shadow Assassin. It's probably the best trade. All right. All right, we're going to have to... We're going to need some help tuning our deck here. Our deck is close to being really good, but it needs, it needs some tuning. You know, we need to trade some of our... We have some, like, really great creatures, but we, we have some kind of spare creatures, and we need to trade some of those spare creatures for, um, for some good spells. Trade it all the way. New hand. We have five Omen Hawks in here. One out of six cards is an Omen Hawk. We didn't see any. Fuck, where's our Omen Hawks? <laughs> Bumped a little head here. Yuck. Our deck doesn't feel as good when we draw zero of our five Omen Hawks, and then, so now we can't play Conspirators. And we have all creatures, we have no spells to play anyway. There's a Hawk. I will play my part. There's a hawk. Oh, that's really good. Um, I wish I could put this life blade like back in the deck. We're gonna just make like these next creatures that we're about to draw pretty big. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. So those top two creatures have plus two, plus two. Ooh, one of them's a Bjerg. Now the top creature has plus three, plus three, and all the other creatures get plus one, plus one. What do you like Rut row. I guess that's why we kind of need tricks. Could Battle Fury? I don't know, maybe that's supposed to just Karma instead of the Hearth Guard. They probably have something they're going to play, right? If I just pass. I 
Tilt. I didn't think they would have just attacked with their 4-4 into my 5-5 without a trick of some some kind. Ionia speaks through me. But I was wrong. Does that shuffle my library so that one card that was on top and the one creature that was on top and got plus three plus three is now shuffled in? I guess we'll we'll find out if the next time we draw a creature. That's a good card. Nope. Looking for a escape. Hey yeah. Uh, thank you. They're at 16. There's always a way out. Karma's doing pretty good. Big Hawk. We'll make quick work of you. Just gonna do that. Vengeance. Rude. So next turn I'm gonna have nine mana. Kind of debating on whether it's even worth playing this Omen Hawk or not, or just saving the mana. So we'll have, we'd have like 10 mana. It's not really anything else I'm doing with the extra two with the Battle Fury, so I guess I might as well play it. I guess, I mean, we do have Karma, though, that could find something. Hmm. I don't know. I'll play it. <laughs> plus four, plus four is Zephyr Sage. Okay. Well, how do we want to go about this? Do we just want to just straight up Battle Fury and just hope they don't have? Hope they don't have interaction. Um, or I could go Trindamir, which is better against interaction. Once it won't happen again. Once we flip Karma. Do you know what I just realized? Like, next turn, we'll flip Karma. And then we, we flip Karma, then we have double Battle Fury. It's pretty crazy.
You just got an expedition with Mono Ionia with a absolute ton of elusives. Wow, yeah, that does sound like a great draft. Still at seventeen. Like they're attacking for thirteen right now. Creatures are so big. By force of will. That's ten. Yeah, we get to double battle if you give something plus sixteen, plus eight permanently. Shadow Flare doesn't, uh, only gives the followers ephemeral, not everything. And grief. No, opponent, where are you going? I was gonna play another big piece of the thing. Alright, so we got our first win. Good good spot to be, you know. So now we can start tuning this deck, you know, because we, we do need to tune this deck. We got a lot of a lot of creatures. Uh, I guess this isn't a trade, this is just grab something else. Um so we can go get another Trindamir, another Battle Fury, and another Bjerg. Or another Karma with a Feral Mystic. That's not bad. And a Trapper. Or a Yasuo. I don't really love the Inspiring Mentor. We do recall a bunch of stuff, though. But we don't recall our opponent's stuff, really. Or stun our opponent's stuff. We get a second Will of Ionia, which would be good. I mean, I guess we're probably just doing this first column. Just get second Trindamir, second Battle... Fury, third, Babbling Bjerg. Trindamir is just such a bomb. I mean, Karma's good, though, too. Karma's a pretty big bomb there, too. We saw Karma really helped us win that game, getting us the, our extra spells, because we don't really have other spells. And Karma gets got some good spells for us. I'm gonna get this. Trindamir Battle Fury. There's our Omen Hawks. Trindamir Thresh. Also, I should be putting back the jewel protector.
it was pretty unfortunate having that thing be a 4-3. We drew two of our so, so we know that they this omen hawk gave both of those plus one plus one. We obviously the omen hawk this omen hawk gave something else. We've drawn two of our like six spells. There we go. I was gonna say we're gonna start drawing some creatures. So Bjerg is either gonna draw Okay, Drew Trindamir. He's either going to draw Trindamir, Hearthguard, or whatever that other top card was. There's no reason for them to be killing the bunny over the hawk. But I'm happy with that. It's kind of a little unfortunate for us that both times they played an Omen Hawk, they hit a Stalking Wolf. A little unfortunate. Pulling the little one one. So I didn't want to attack it and let them just even trade off their omen hawks. Yeah, like that's that's what they want to do. They want to trade off the omen hawks. So what if I just battle Fury the Omen Hawk? Would that be crazy? And then next turn I play Jewel Protector, pump up Trindamir. Yeah, Thresh is super scary for sure. Thresh is really good. I'm gonna try it. I do think that Thresh is one of the most. I didn't realize. I don't know. That's not Katarina, is it? Who's this over here? I think Thresh is one of the most underrated champions in the game. I've been saying that for a while. Nothing escapes my watch. That Senna? Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, now I want to play Karma. I was going to go Protector Trindamir, but... Guess we don't really have to. We'll just play Karma. Thresh had captured Senna in his lamp. Oh no, they hit. I'll just pass. Thresh had captured Senna in his lamp, and that's why Lucian hates Thresh. War Mother's Call? Oh, please give me War Mother's Call. Cost so much mana though. You just gotta believe me. Lisa is a sea all. They only have like three cards left.
This Trindomir is going to be brutal. Virtue guides me. Hmm. For the thrill of battle. For the thrill of battle. Pretty enticing to play Stalking Wolf, kill their Stalking Wolf. Yep, yeah, it's March already. Not February anymore. We are marching on through 2020. Kind of joining in. There's Puppy's head right there. She's just laying down on my lap. Eleven damage. <laughs> the coolest card to play is is probably War Mother's Call. Probably my best play is playing Hearthguard plus Trapper plus Stalking Wolf. Oh, I should have played the Trapper first. Whoops, make the Enraged Yeti first. Yeah, it should be a 6-6. Six, six. Do I want to have Battle Fury up this turn, or do I want to play War Mother's Call? So I'm going to be able to Battle Fury the 2-2 the two -two Life Linker to make it a 10 power Life Linker so we go, go back up to 19 so we don't have to worry about dying because obviously we're going to be winning the long game. All of our creatures get plus one, plus one, and we're going to play War Mother's Call and you know we have a Trindomir that's going to flip. We'll shuffle another Trindomir back into the deck. Like We're winning a long game. We just have to make sure not to get punked out and die somehow. So we'll go 
Life Linker, Battle Fury, get back up to 19, and uh, probably kill them. Welcome back, Blade. OPP surrendered. Two now. All right, we have three good trades here. I, w I would take every single one of these trades. Zexian, a 13 month streak. Thank you, Zexian. You are awesome. Thank you so much. So I'll, I will take all these trades. Every single one of these. Um, none of them are spells, which I, you know, I kind of want some more spells as we've talked about, but we don't, we don't get any trades. Um, I don't really love the skill snapper. And so I can turn that into a Yone. Yone is pretty powerful. I wouldn't mind another Conspirator and, you know, just get a fourth Conspirator and just have Omen Hawk Conspirator try to get that turn one, turn two all the time and just keep on playing those. I wouldn't mind that. I think I want to do this last one, though. I think I want to trade the Snapper for Yone. We got a lot of other threes, you know. We got lots of one through four. Let's get a seven drop. Up the power. Uh, replace, replace, replace. Timo, Ezreal, Trindamir. This could be kind of tricky. Omenhawk? Yuck. Oh, no. That was not... Man, we have not been doing good of getting Omenhawk, Navori, Conspirator. Still, we, we get one more card. Omen Hawk now? Oh my gosh. Well, this, this really could not have gone much worse. Yeah, I, I like that too. I like how you get to improve the deck while playing. I do think that's really cool. So what'd they discard? Oh, they discarded another one of those things. Even though that's a one drop, that seems like a pretty good one drop to bounce. Seems like a good one drop to bounce. Sorry, the mouse is. Sir, there was a little fella asking for me. Huh. I need to put a mouse pad up. Oh, whoops. Could have got two points of damage in there. Yeah, new game plan. Survive till we get to drop all these things. Thank you. Thank you for letting me attack. Play me, discard one. So it does sound like a good card to bounce.
So put that back in their hand and they basically can't play it anymore. It's basically four mana, get rid of it. Some weak cards in their deck. Yone does give me another card for Bjerg to draw, so that's that's also good. Come on! Come on! Yeah, sure, why not? We'll just get some puff caps. We'll just draw two. Why not? Walk softly, strike quickly. Ugh. I don't know why they would play something pre-combat, but that's like my only hope is that they would play something pre-combat make no All sense the for them to. I'm going real risky here to try to win. I'm not really playing not to lose. I'm playing to win. I'm going down to one. Um, I guess they have the burn spell. But I was going down to one, and then I was going to, you know, Battle Fury. You know, next turn, I was going to have the mana Battle Fury. And obviously, we could just get a pop cap and lose. Hopefully not. That's your your fault. <laughs> Sai Hayes that stay in the shroom. No, it's not your fault though. I wasn't I was playing to win. And I, I think that's the, the correct line that I took. Gave me my best chance of winning. Um So all I had to do was, you know, I had seven mushrooms and twenty you know, 22 cards. I just needed to to not draw a card with a mushroom. It was a pretty good chance, but we did. Well, I'm not taking a third Battle Fury. We're not doing the last trade. Um, I think, like, Stun and Brittle Steel are, are pretty similar cards. You know, Steel Tempest is a little better. Brittle Steel costs two less. Probably hold on to those. And then, so we could do Snapper for Deny. Deny gives me another spell, which I do want spells. Snapper is kind of an important blocker if we don't draw anything else, though. Denies denies better in constructed than it is in in this format. It's not as good in this format. 
especially at four mana. So, so I'm I'm thinking about just not doing any of them. Yeah, they use the counterfeit card to put four troops into their deck. And then they got two of those troops and a 4-5. Deny is better against a, a slower deck. The Dino is better against an aggro deck. I like our chances against slow decks already. I think we got a lot of power in our deck. I think I'm more scared of the fast deck, and so that's why I'm keeping the dyno. It's kind of awkward where, like, Karma, you know, playing Karma on turn five is awesome, and, you know, it's one of our most powerful cards, so I kept that. And Twin Discipline, you know, we don't have a whole lot of tricks. Twin Disciplines is, you know, maybe our best trick. Wow, got rid of a Marksman. Okay. But of course, I just want Nav Navori Conspirator. Like that's the card that I really want to, to draw. So like mulliganing more cards would give me more chances for Conspirator. But uh, as we saw that last game, mulliganing we may get just a whole bunch of bad cards instead. It's a tough call. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. Ready for that one. Odin. That's going to be a big trend to mirror. That's gonna be a big trend of mirror pups. Oh, it works. Mostly. <laughs> what we get? Four mana, grant two allies, plus zero, plus three. That's pretty good. I still have three mana left. Doing a good job of keeping uh, keeping our life total high. No. 
No fly zone. Rest. Collect your thoughts. What am I going to do about this jinx? The answer is here somewhere. Wait. Yeah, let me respond. There we go. Figured out what to do about the jinx. Whatever. They kill my flyer. Whatever. Get to bounce the jinx because now they discard their hand. Draw three. So discard the jinx. That worked out. No, so yeah, they they do not know what I what I what random spells I create. No. There we go. Battle Fury Stompy's ready. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Okay. They're just attacking out. Trindamir. That is the question. Spoil alert, you don't. Death itself can't stop me. They have to have like a frostbite card. That's not gonna work. Let rage fill your soul. So nineteen trample. That'll do. That'll do, pup. That'll do. All right, so we can get a third Trendemir and a third Battle Fury and a They Who Endure. Probably don't want that, honestly. Or we can get a second Karma, a Harsh Winds, which is a great card, and another Zephyr Sage. Second Zephyr Sage. That's not so bad. Um, or a Yasuo, Fey Blade Twirler, and Yone. I think I want the second Karma and the Harsh Winds. I don't really love the other Zephyr Sage, but oh well. I think it's worth it. Let's let's just get the second Karma. And the Harsh Winds. Okay. EXP Battle. Perfect. All right. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Heimerdinger Ash. Uh, what's it? Yeah, there's the Conspirator. Got there.
Uh, pick that back up. I don't want them to kill the Omen Hawk. Yeah, they can just trade there. All right, we just traded two drops and we get a 1-1. One, one. And we get to replay our Omen Hawk. What would you choose in this game? Next region or next cards and champions to the or or new cards and champions to the existing regions? Hard to say. Instinctually, I, I, you know, adding on just more cards and champions to the existing regions. Reason why is just because I feel like it could be really hard to balance, you know, more and more regions. But if they can balance more regions, I would probably prefer that. A chill in the air. Butcha. <clears throat> so, going to Zephyr Sage, the Trintamir. If it's a fight they want. Yeah. This challenger is so strong. With that uh, frostbite stuff. Good that we get that trade. Get that thing out of here. Up there in the mountain. Yeah, that's true. I could have could have just expected harsh harsh wins and then just passed. I honestly didn't realize they had the six mana. You're right. I, I probably could have realized that. Another seven six. Yeah, this is tough because yeah, I want to play Zephyr before these things. We'll bring peace to Iona, but whatever the cost. Again, Karma is just better the earlier you can play Karma, so then the more the more spells you grow, you draw also. Um, and you know, I want to just play Trindamir the next turn. So it's it's like it's it's hard to find a place for this Zephyr Sage.
answers. I have them. Please, Dad. You'll need more than that. Yeah, we're still gonna be playing Anivia after this. Um. I wish I could then health potion this, but we can't. Uh, but we may only just play one Anivia Tribal. You know, maybe we'll just play the Anivia Tribal and move the Assessor Control to tomorrow. No! Oh, I don't want this 1-1. One, one. It's upside giving me these 1-1s one, that I don't want. I guess I could go infinite with Zephyr Sages. I play the one and create another copy of this one, and I I guess I just have infinite Zephyr Sages now. It's just always six mana seven seven draw a six mana seven seven. That's kind of cool. Bio Peligroso. Welcome, welcome. Or bio. Not and ready. Ugh, that's so strong. What's up, track team? Glad you like the new name. Wow, that's pretty good. My light, Barabarossa. Stay back. Clean up the battlefield some. But I think I just every single turn play a six mana seven seven, right? Think so. Round and round and round it goes. Where are your purpose? Where are 
They do have Heimerdinger that gets them a whole bunch of free stuff as well. Yeah, this is this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, infinite seven sevens versus Heimerdinger. Who wins? But you know, like the seven sevens do take up six of my mana. I wish I would have had this Steel Tempest whenever this thing was killing my Trindomir. Cool combo that we found. Two Zephyr Sages. Especially one that was pumped up uh, three times. Alright, so they had a removal spell, so they didn't have to block with uh, Heimerdinger. That's, that's a little odd that they. Blocked here and said they could have traded with the 4 3. <laughs> right, an end race 4 runners. That would be a nice top deck. Uh, let's play this thing. See what happens. Okay, get a Trendomir. That's pretty good. Now they have no cards in hand. All the world on one arrow. Averosis, stand together. I'll lead us to victory. Stunned. Should be able to just swing out and be just fine. Awesome. All right, turns out infinite seven sevens. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um. Ugh. Okay. So now I don't really want to trade the. I mean, normally I kind of think of trading Zephyr Sage for Harsh Winds, but I don't know. Maybe I don't want to trade Zephyr Sage for Harsh Winds now because we found out that infinite combo if you get two of them. I kind of like this first trade. Uh, get a Steel Tempest. Cause, like I said, I do want like another spell. Uh, Steel Tempest is pretty good. I think we'll just do that one. I wouldn't mind like the last trade either though, normally. Lazy puppy. All Shadow Isle. This is gonna be tough. Whenever they get a draft deck that's all the same faction, it's it's usually so synergistic. Uh, 
Ugh, I forgot we have the entreat. I'll trade that thing away. What does he want from me? No blocks. Omen Conspirator. The combo. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Got the Omen Conspirator combo. I've got to get out of here. You call that sneaky. So just get another last breath follower. Take a look. That's a good last breath follower. I guess they get a bunch of one ones. I really don't need to be playing that pre-combat. I should just be attacking with the conspirator because I'm not attacking with this thing. Alright, so I just get another mage another conservator. Or I mean another warden's prey. Basically just not block. Right? Have their battlefield filled with these crappy one ones. I feel like we can outrace them. I don't know. Maybe I should be blocking. Where there is life, there is hope. It takes a lot of constraint not to play. Yeah, I just got a, a couple Mage Seeker Conservators in hand. Walk softly, strike quickly. Takes a lot of constraint not to play that hearth guard. No, don't draw karma. I wanted to draw my other Trindomir, because you know, Trindomir being a battle fury. 50-50 shot. Ooh. Take heart's good. I messed up. My blade grows red. I should have played the second stun. I should have taken the two, because if I wouldn't have played the second stun, then I would have had the mana for the take heart also. Um, right now... <clears throat> As it sits, this is lethal. go all right we you know i'm sure they had like a whole bunch of more creatures that were all really cool and stuff but they couldn't they just couldn't get rid of the creatures they had shows 
one problem playing a bunch of um, crappy one ones. So a problem to it right there. All right, so I can get rid of the Entreat and get a Yone. That's not bad. I don't like this Entreat. Jewel Protector for Ancient Yeti. No, I want to keep Protector. Snapper for Harsh Winds. Maybe. I could see doing that also. That ruins my uh, even evenly dis distributed curve if I get rid of if I do either of the first two trades. I guess I... Well, the only card to sacrifice something that's not a creature is what Glimpse Beyond, right? Like, that's the only card, right? Because, like, the other ways are... Or I guess, no, I mean, yeah, they could just have any spells, but yeah, I guess they just didn't have their spells. So right now I only have three three drop creatures. I have three three mana spells. As far as trading out Snapper for Harsh Winds. Yeah, they couldn't play any followers to, you know, like they couldn't play a, like another follower to sacrifice because their board was too full. They may have had those followers to sacrifice, but they couldn't play any. kind of don't want to do these. I mean, I guess I'm going to do this trade. I don't really want that entry. But I don't, I don't really want another Yone. I guess this is protector life blade combo. If I keep the life blade, I guess that is the combo. Pretty slow though. I'm just gonna keep the Omen Hawk and get some new cards. Try to get more Omen Hawks and Conspirators. Rogo Bop. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Eight awesome months. Honestly, my Omen Hawk's probably better than theirs. They probably don't have like the ways to pick theirs up as much as me, but I don't know. They're if I didn't forge it, you they're wanting to keep their Omen Hawk. All right, I would like to trade Stalking Wolf for uh, Battlesmith, but we gotta wait till the next turn after this. So they have two turns of playing elites. Recite, protect me. Time to get my hands dirty. Hmm. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. That's pretty good.
So again, I want to, I want the stalking wolf to kill the battlesmith, but it's just, it just uses my mana so poorly to do that. Gross. At least Radiant Guardian's not an elite. Walk softly, strike quickly. Down. Come on. Will be served. Okay. Strike for justice. Track them down. It's not too bad. Bounce that thing so it just turns back into being a T2. I don't know. I, yeah, so like basically, you know, I just sacrificed my creatures to put four damage on these things. I don't know if that's worth it or not, but that's what we're going to go with. And now, like, these things can trade. But we'll get Karma in play, try to draw some spells. Because, of course, with my deck, I want to I want to play a late game. But, like, they have a good late game, too. Like, they have Trindamir and Anivia. Ugh, and they have that wolf. Nothing this could be a tough one. This, this could definitely be a loss. So my plan is to, to kind of play these things to be able to block the those uh, creatures and harsh winds them. Well. Harsh winds, need your help. I smell a fight. I think I need to play harsh winds more than I need to play Trindamir. Oh, 
turns on. Is playing War Mother's Call better than playing a 12A Trindamir? Gosh, we have some things to play. Like, 12A Trindamir could be lethal. Like, if they don't have an elusive thing, this tramples over. Do not stand in my way. I can't attack with this. Uh, maybe I have to attack with it now. It's the challenger. All right, so if I attack like this, they block here, but then they challenger this, and then this tramples through. Yeah, I guess I have to attack with it. You don't stand a chance. But it's still, they get to do that. You know, they challenger the Trindamir. Oh, this wasn't lethal? One short? Please play something. Yes. The Thankfully, they played guardian. something. I have come for the unforgiven. They had lethal. They didn't play anything. They just challenged the thirteen thirteen. I couldn't couldn't stay alive. Okay. Well, they didn't take my elusive creature. We will not hesitate. Oh, go. oh, right, because they're just going to kill it with Fiora. Why would they attack with the 3-3? Three, three? Okay. Absolutely, Balding Eddie. Yeah, this game is amazing. Yeah, this is so tense. I think they got us. We're gonna have to get real lucky. That's not real lucky. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. In Avarosa's name. This is bad. I think they got us. So the reason to make this attack, this chump attack, is because Anivia's trigger is going to do two damage. That's so going to kill this thing anyway. You know, looking for like harsh winds. We do have another harsh winds in here. Gosh, play everything. Comes only at the price no. of war. We strike. Fall to our Maybe if I would just play the War Mother's Call before instead of that Trindamir. I thought for some reason Trindamir through theirs was going to be lethal, but it just was. But it wasn't. We were one off. We put them down to one. So I guess I need to play War Mother's Call that turn. Um, I 
I don't want more expensive creatures. I want these tricks. So I'm, I'm keeping those. It's the third... The third one... Do I trade Twin Disciplines for Will of Ionia? You know, like, which which trick do I want more? I think I want Twin, twin Discipline. Sometimes Will of Ionia is awesome, though. There's other times where it's not that good. All right, we're down to single elimination. How you've been sitting here, pup, is, is nice, but it hasn't been very comfortable for me. Oh yeah, the puff caps. Singular singular P and Z now. This is the second run. Uh, you can see the first run we went we got six wins. Well, the next, you know, we didn't draw a creature here, so the next two creatures that we draw are just going to have plus three, plus three. Doing good, Roshian. Do whatever's needed. I learned that in class. Doing good. So we're going to have two big creatures coming up. <laughs> One of them's an Omanok. So the next creature is going to have plus four, plus four, and then the one after that, plus one, plus one. Oh my gosh, it's a hearth guard. Get some more pluses. I want to just bounce Teemo. Yeah, it's a 4-4 four, four for one mana that also grants the, your next two things you draw, plus one, plus one. No, you not, Joy. I wonder what that attack's about. Do they have four mana deal one damage to two different things? Our strength is yours. Static shock. We're going to static shock this and, and one of these. Put a spring in your step the stars in your eye. Let's take this outside. It did. Younger than I thought. Conspirator, bounce Omen Hawk. That'll do. Sorry, Timo. Can you hold this? Our banner will lead the way. Is 
They kind of have to block. Could just take 13. I'm right, just taking the 13. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. Oh, uh, why didn't I play the Trapper first? I should play Trapper first. My most groundbreaking invention today. Right, I should play Trapper first. Before Omen Honk. Round and round and round it goes. Well they got they got the perfects. Flash of brilliance with Heimerdinger is the perfects. Heimerdinger reminds me, reminds you of me. Uh, the glasses, pretty Heimerdinger like. Making a bunch of stuff out of nothing. Turning bad cards into two for ones. Yeah, the barkeeper deck is the dream deck. I off stream like whenever you have like the the free expeditions. I got one before of of all P and Z, and I had four barkeepers. I loved it. Without an overwhelm creature, I don't know how we can win this, honestly. I was hoping they just weren't going to block, like, one of the creatures. You know, I was hoping they weren't going to block the 2-2. Two -two. Step one is getting Heimerdinger out of here, getting these three one elusives out of here. They have ten cards in hand, so they didn't even get their four power. Or their four mana thing.
Unfortunately, karma is not going to be very good for us because we're now going to be enlightened, and so we're not going to get any random spells. So it's just going to be this karma, um, which isn't actually very good. So unfortunately, our our karma doesn't really help us. So defeating seven cards over here is not likely. Yeah, if we find a second Karma, then yes, that would be good. Yeah, that spell's not bad. Got a catastrophe. A one mana 30 30 overwhelm. It's not bad. All right, have a good night, Kokiri. Have a good night. Grow free. Success is planting your mushrooms. I think this is where we're going to be done, Puff. Alright, I have 24 Puff Caps. Wow, the fourth barkeep, draw four. Just living the dream. Okay, so I don't get to change that. So that's still just a 5-2. Alright, we'll let Catastrophe finish us off. Of course, I had Harsh Winds and another one of like the, the Stun and Attacker. Those were, whoops, those were my outs. I got 800 XP. All right, so we got six wins. Claim our rewards. So we get a platinum chest. Oh, is it was upgraded to a platinum chest? I think it was maybe supposed. So I guess it's probably supposed to be a gold chest and got upgraded to a platinum. And then a champion card, and 1,500 shards. So half of our shards back. All right, so our platinum chest has a bunch of commons that I had three of, and a border lookout, and a rare and some more commons I had three of. It's starting to get a lot more of these extra copies these days. The collection is filling out, and another five hundred shards. So we got basically two thirds of the way. Like over two thirds of the way, because you know we had the fifteen hundred, 
So then another 500, so 2,000 plus those extra ones. These things, these expeditions cost 3,000 shards. So almost paid for itself, but not quite. And a Darius, awesome. The assessor control deck um, that we will, uh, you know, that we're going to be playing um, needed a, a, I needed a third Darius for that deck. So got that third Darius. That's good. That's a good one. All right, there was our uh, expedition for the day. So, you know, we'll do another one of these tomorrow and Thursday. Um, you know, keep on getting, like, more champion. You know, keep getting more champions. And they're pretty fun. You know, like, we had a lot of really good games. Had a lot of fun um, with them. And it worked, you know, it did really well. So that, that was good. All right. But uh, anyway, that's it here for... Um, our second uh, trial with that expedition. So thank you so much for watching those y'all on YouTube and I'll see you for the next video.